what's going on, what's going on, it's your boy Brandon the Bird. Just definitely want to, um, I'm, I'm not even going to even say the, uh, I'm not even going to say short video or long video, but I'm, I'm going to definitely try to be very convenient as possible, but yeah, I definitely wanted to really just drop uh, some things. I actually just wanted to just uh, emphasize with with the with the Meek Mill um, what's free, uh, basically like almost like a like a like a mirror of you know B I G what's B and Jay Z I think Rick Ross uh, Meek Mill all solid, but Jay Z definitely takes the cake. He, was definitely emphasizing on about the culture and the industry, how basically a lot of uh, young artists is really on some stupid shit, not really looking at the money or looking at their choices and shit, what's going on. Like 360, like 360 deals are not, are intentionally set up to take your money and to take your work. Because when you think about it, if you're creating a music, that should be your music. Nobody should not own your music. That's a, in a way, that's like a form of actually slavery. If you want to think about it. And as Michael and Jay Prince, I mean not Jay Prince, but Prince and Michael Jackson, they, you know, were the most cultural dominant, biggest all-time artists of, uh, of one of the art, artists of all time. Um, also, shit, shit, culture. And a magnitude of it. That's an icon. Um, and white space, like, like I'll probably would say like an Eminem um, or something like that. There's no white artist or even a non-black artist that can go into um, a, a culture that's basically black, black African thing type of culture, Caribbean culture, African culture, black culture. Um, especially the U.S. culture, and actually shift culture. Now, maybe within white space, they somewhat can, but it's, 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 a, it's, a, um, it's one of those ripples. But in black artists, it's more influential. The music is a little more deeper. But, uh, but they were definitely talk about uh, how the, the state of hip-hop is, and I definitely understand, and I definitely agree. Um, I definitely will have to give my little bit of pushback, a little bit of pushback, because there's a few artists um, that, that are actually getting a hell of a lot of money, but in a way also, too, there are also some artists that, are, that is somewhat waking up to the, the, to, the, to the thing is that they really don't have the money as they portray in their videos, and they definitely talk about little different things. I think a lot of... Um, I definitely want to just throw a little bit of defense with Kodak Black because I've been listening. Actually, I listened to some of his music. It's old music and his newer music. Um, his older music, you know, he's really more about his shit. The newer music, he was he's now becoming a little bit more conscious. I mean, the consciousness is not as um, very uh, vast as, as, as maybe other people do. Um, like if they want, you want to prelude to saying, but he has he he's starting to talk about some consciousness in his music. So I just I do have to say, Kodak Black and, and the latest of that generation, as Twenty One Savage and everybody, they are starting to um, they're starting to get a little bit conscious about the industry. They're getting a little bit conscious about the money and the and their business uh, moves and their business decisions. So they're they're, 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 they're improving. They're, they're improving. So I, you can, I can't fire shots totally at a lot of those artists right now. Now, the newer artists that's coming up, I hopefully, um, definitely hope they understand that the 360s are actually slave deals. Um, it ain't no different than, um, than the, 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 the slavery and the Bella plantations to um, even in the Roman slavery system. I mean, even to uh, feudal China slave system, even even in um uh, in um uh, in some uh, historical African uh, regions or cultures, there was slavery system going on. Um, but like I tell people, like there's always a mean to oppress and a mean to uh, a mean to oppress or a mean to dominate. 
and that's pretty much what capitalism is, is because you know I told you capitalism is a a splinter um, that was birthed from uh, what you see of slave or feudal society. So uh, that's just the construct of it, and I, I definitely want to just give my little opinion to about the code of black and a few others and that uh and that the the, the ways of hip-hop is what you want to say it um now here's a lot of non-black hip-hop artists are, is coming in um are they disrespecting hell yeah now there's just some that's very very conscious and they respect the culture there is some you know what i'm saying um it's just a pretty much just the way it is but I definitely want to uh, just throw, throw a little bit of defense on well, about thought crime with just a few people that they did mention that there is a little bit of a consciousness and there is a little bit of awareness and a different uh, different uh, direction a lot of them are going. So that's pretty much what I really want to just uh, really want to peg on. And I'll definitely get back with you guys real soon. All right, one.